Hey everyone, it's Jo. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd share with you a mini album that I've just completed using the Super Pretty um, Butterfly Gardens collection from Couture Creations. So I thought I'd just give you a quick walkthrough and a bit of a quick explanation on um, kind of how I put my, my book together. So I've just put some pretty flowers on the front of it and I've added some trim to the side. And these little chipboard pieces are from scrap mats. I've put some ribbons on the side just to keep it closed, to tie it up. I find that's just the easiest way to keep it together. So <clears throat> here's our first page. So this flips to the right and we've got a pocket here for the tag. This then flips to the left and it also flips to the right another tag here and it also again flips out to the left my next page has got like a little photo mat in this then lifts up so I've kept the embellishing really simple mainly just to save bulk in the book because there's so many flips that the more flips and pockets it just tends to, to bulk out pretty quickly so it means you're a bit limited with your embellishments. This one here flips to the right and then it flips to the left and these are just two little flip pockets so I've got a couple of tags in here. This one flips up And this tag comes out and then this little pocket flips down space for two photos and they're all held down with um, magnets I tend to use a basic grey magnets this page here it's just like a little flip out part the whole lot just unfolds so again lots of places for your photos didn't put photo mats on these, I left them open because I kind of like to show the papers as well. <clears throat> so this one's just got two photo mats. Left this one plain again, mainly because the paper was so pretty. And not only that, I also find that sometimes when you've got so many um, pockets and flips, it kind of gets a little bit confusing. So sometimes your eye just needs a bit of a rest. So that's how I feel anyway. Not everybody else might feel that way. But so yeah, sometimes I feel like it's a little bit too overwhelming and your eye just needs a bit of a break. So every now and again, I'll just put a nice page in and leave it simple. This one here was a piece of uh, ephemera piece and I've popped a magnet on the back just to keep this page nice and tight and shut. So if you open this, this opens to the left and to the right. It then lifts to the top. A bit hard to see. This one flips down to the bottom. I've got a couple of tags in there from the ephemera set. And this one's got like a belly band on it. So if we slide this to the left, this then flips open. And then we can slide this, this belly band off. And the other side flips open as well. So we can then just slide this back on. There we go. And we'll pop that back on as well just to hold it together. Oops. Right. This flips to the left. This has an on page pocket. Then this flips to the right. This one here flips this way. Again, a little pocket with a couple of tags on. Another plain paper. And this one lifts up. 
And this one lives down. Another on-page pocket with a tag. And this also has a pocket here as well, which must be where I'm missing my other little um, photo map. There we go. So that will fit in there. And this last page here, I haven't quite stuck this one down yet. It needs some uh, magnets to hold it, so I haven't stuck my papers on properly yet. So this opens here. Again, we have a pocket here. And there's also an, another place for a photo as well. So that will hold nice and tight with a magnet on the back. So that's it. Thanks for popping by. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Still very much a learning curve for me, but thanks for coming along for the ride. And I'll see you next time. Bye.